Hi, Katie. How are you doing today? Doing awesome. Having a great Good. day. Okay, so today is your last day for the mastermind. We've done an intense mo few months, three months actually. And I want you to share with me what is the biggest aha moment breakthrough that you had? I think the biggest moment was just realizing that all of this is like doable and that I'm capable of doing it. And once we started talking about the sales script and how to deliver um, like the sales pitch and being prepared and always being prepared with notes or anything to keep yourself like in line with it that was like when it hit for me that that this is something that i am more than capable of doing mm -hmm. and gave me kind of even more confidence in what can happen and what's gonna happen <laughs> mm -hmm. it's gonna happen it's there and um so i think for you was the biggest thing that i felt working together was clarity Mm -hmm. So you kind of already knew your target market, um, but knowing how you wanted to deliver that program, knowing how you yeah. wanted to, your system. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a big breakthrough for you. Um, mm -hmm. Understanding that we needed to offer more than just a nutrition and a training plan. It needed to be more than that. We needed to be health coaches. Um, I thought that was really big for you because it wasn't clear for a minute. So at yeah. the beginning, you were more focused on courses and yeah that and, was uh, and that was very overwhelming and then we switched to high ticket coaching which is you know m less less clients more money and yeah. better results and more impact too because they really transform when they mm -hmm. go for it so okay so i want you to tell me what is the most important thing that you learn from this mastermind i think i know there's been a lot <laughs> it's been a lot yeah. a lot of lessons yeah, but I but think, you can pick one. Um, I feel like just the general thing is just organizing, organization. But um, something that has been so helpful is just how to repurpose content and how to use that on so many different platforms. And then that goes with organization of if you keep yourself organized, then you can use one video for multiple different platforms. And so you're not putting in that hours of recording over and over again. So I think um, when I shared that, when we did that call and I shared how much I used one video, mm -hmm. how I got this video and reformatted for TikTok and Pinterest and LinkedIn and all of the platforms and email and blogs and just one video. I think all of you guys went like, whoa. Yeah. It makes so much sense now to shoot all this content and batch it and then distribute um, in different platforms to make sure it's worth your time because it's so hard to shoot the content to start with. You want to maximize it instead of just yeah. post it. And then years later, you know, everybody's forgot about that piece and also reusing it. So if some, if a piece is really good, you can use it again a few months later. Mm -hmm. That's also very important. So why did you choose me? Why did you, I know we have a relationship. Some people don't know, but just you say why why did you choose me to be your business coach um i looked into a few different options and i really wanted to make like a big move i was ready and i know that from what i've seen you like how you show yourself even on social media you're a very honest and genuine person you don't seem like you're trying to fake it and i think that showing your own vulnerability allows people to kind of trust in you. And that's how I felt too, as like a potential um, client to work with you. I felt like, okay, she's real. She gets it. And your own story of how you started is just like, okay, done deal. If like, she can do it, so can yeah, I. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think being vulnerable is very important. And I think a lot of business coaches, what they go wrong is that they just sound like a sell speech again and again and again and I think they lose a little bit of their personal brand along the way um, but yeah so we already had a relationship before because you actually have been my client as well yeah for quite some time um, for the bikini competitions yeah and now you're here <laughs> I know figure. okay so 
what would you say to someone that is uh, wanting to join, that wants to join She's Got Brands, wants to be a member of the mastermind? What would you tell them? If they have any doubt, what would you say to them? That this is like totally worth, worth your time, worth your money. And it's, in, it's investing in yourself and in your future. And by putting, you know, a little bit of effort in somewhere that makes you a little uncomfortable, ends up allowing you to flourish even greater. And so throughout the whole program, there's constant reinforcement as well as constant, like evaluation of our own barriers through our own personal growth and development. And that I think is the biggest part. So if you have something holding you back and you're worried that it's not gonna happen, even through the process, you're constantly evolving and growing. And that's just another aspect that's gonna allow you to become even more, you know, prosperous. So don't, don't be mad, nice. just go for it. <laughs> yes. And I think what happens is sometimes a business coaching group, business coaches will group individuals together all the time mm -hmm. and they, they won't offer the one-on-one. -on -one. And yeah. the one-on-one -on -one is really what makes you move forward. Because with the group coaching, everybody's in different levels. So it's very hard to, even if you're learning, it's very hard to customize it to what you're currently at. Mm -hmm. um, even if people are beginners, but they have different, there's so many different niches in the fitness industry that is completely different. So yeah. um, I feel that that's when it goes wrong because it's not customized to the individual. And I think having the one-on-one -on -one is really what makes you move forward. Yeah. And it's almost like somebody's holding your hand and somebody is uh, expecting you to have this done by next week. So you can't fail. You have to get it done. Um, so it's like the accountability of the check-ins. I feel yeah. that really moves people forward. I would totally agree. Like even um, before meeting, I always think, okay, what have I done this week? What, <laughs> like even if it's on like a Monday and I might have like uh, most stuff I've been working on, I'll think like, what can I kind of wrap up a little bit more? Or should I post that to a Trello board? And I try and like wrap up even my thoughts to be ready to, okay, what are we going to talk about and what can I show? Mm -hmm. it definitely keeps you keeps you accountable too yes and i have here um messy board but yeah. you pretty much this is the productivity planner just for the last two weeks we haven't done it before you've had we had it on on our trello boards of course yeah. um but not like this like the last few things to actually have a amazing business set up uh, with all your systems in place and it's pretty much all done so I feel really I feel really accomplished with you and the biggest one is that um, for the longest time not the longest time but like for the first couple of months you actually were in learning mode mm -hmm. and not taking a lot of action because you didn't have enough clarity yeah so I feel that once you actually like we got deeper and deeper and you finally whoop yeah. Then you're like, oh, now I'm moving. No, now yeah. I'm really like super speed. Now I'm running. <laughs> That's like how my life works. That was works. really cool to see because yeah. you were a little bit stuck for a second and that's normal because it's also yeah. uncomfortable and you don't want to make a mistake. So mm -hmm. I definitely am here for you not to make those mistakes. So I'm glad that you actually didn't rush it and let it yeah. evolve into what it's evolving right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it's just like assembling the pieces. I, I needed those thoughts to come and now it's like assembling, which is the exciting part too. Mm -hmm. And so we are all done with all the lessons. We pretty much studied everything that have helped me make a very big business, fitness business. Mm -hmm. And right now it's just implementing all the little things too. Yeah. And there's just a few, there's just a few things that is like, mm, but yeah. it's not time yet, but they're coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all for today. Thank you so much for thank this little talk. And thank you for being such an awesome client. You've That's been great important. to work with. Yeah. And I talk you. so cheesy when they put the camera on me. I talk so I cheesy. Like, I know.